Hi everyone. I want to play two examples of a drum track I have, and let's see if you can hear the difference between them. Could you hear what the difference was? Compression. The first drum example I played for you was natural and unprocessed, like you would hear if you were standing in front of the drum kit. The second example was the same drums, but heavily compressed. The two most important processors that sounds engineer use when mixing are EQ, which we talked about in episode two, and compressors, which I'm going to talk to you about in this episode of Sound Basics with Stella. A compressor's main job is to even out the volume level of an audio track. Think of how a singer performs a song. Sometimes they can sing really loud and sometimes really soft. But when you mix the singer with other instruments in the band, it can be very difficult to hear the loud parts and the soft parts equally. Now, if you turn the volume up to hear the soft parts, then the loud parts will be too loud. And if you turn the volume down, you won't hear the soft parts. If you've ever been to a concert and had trouble hearing the singer, this is where a good compressor can really save the day. A compressor will take the loudest parts of the audio signal and lower them in a very pleasing way. It doesn't lower the entire signal, the way adjusting the volume would. It only lowers the parts of the signal that is too loud. And you decide what too loud is by setting the threshold. Anything below the threshold stays unprocessed. Anything above the threshold will be compressed. And again, you get to decide how much you want to compress this loud part by adjusting something called the ratio. Let me show you how this works. I have a vocal track here from a song of mine called Like a Rope. Listen to the differences in volume as I play the vocals. Now it's freezing cold. You said it yourself. Love is like a rope. And I miss you like hell. Now I'm going to open a compressor called the Renaissance Compressor. So we can even out the level of the vocal. First, we'll decide how much we want to lower the loud parts using the ratio knob. And then we'll adjust the threshold to set the point at which the compressor is going to start working. When the threshold is set to zero, that means all the audio will pass through unprocessed. The more you lower the threshold, the sooner the compressor will kick in. You can use your ears or look at the meters in the compressor, which tells you by how many decibels you're lowering the sound. But remember, you're not lowering the entire signal, only the parts that cross the threshold you set. You said it yourself. Love is like a rope. And I miss you like hell. You keep on running. Well, I'm busy here. Another thing that's important when adjusting your compression settings is the makeup gain, or the amount of level you need to add to the entire track after compressing it. Because if we're compressing the loudest parts to be lower and more even with the soft parts, then our entire track is also going to be lower in volume after compressing it. And this is where we apply makeup gain. Here's the original unprocessed waveform of our vocal track you can see how there's a big difference between the loudest and softest parts. Now look at our vocal after we've applied compression. There is less of a difference between the loudest and softest parts. Finally, here is how it looks after we've applied some makeup gain. Now that you know how a compressor works, let's talk about why we use it. The main reason we use compression is to even out the level of your tracks. But compressing a track sounds very different from simply raising and lowering the volume. A compressor brings out all the details of the sound that give more life to it, more energy, or as we commonly say, more punch. A compressed sound punches through the mix better and cuts through the rest of the instruments. Let's listen to a few examples and you'll hear what I'm talking about. Finally, let's listen to the difference between these two sounds in a full mix, because that's where the context matters most. Mm -hmm. 
Compression is a huge part of any great mix, and knowing how to apply it properly will help your music tremendously. There's also a lot more to learn, such as attack, release, sidechaining, and choosing different types of compressors. But that's for another episode. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about compression and how to use it properly when mixing, go to waves.com slash videos, where you can watch a variety of tutorials and hear demos of compression. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the Waves YouTube channel for more sound basics with Stella. Mm -hmm.